Welcome back! We have just finished exploring the tavern, so let's see what else we can find in this town. Let's head left first. I would not get near that dog if I were you, Jim. It's suffering from rabies. Really? Save new game replace pre How bad can it be? Hmm, I don't think so. Ah, doesn't let you. Spock and you like nerf the punch it or something? Thing to do is to have Dr. McCoy treat the animal. I'll have to get near it. Spock, does the Vulcan nerve pinch work on a Doberman? That's what I was trying. If you can come up with a suitable distraction first. Alright, um... We do have some meat, I guess. Let's see if that works. The dog is now hungrily eating its meal. I didn't get out of the way, but at least it's distracted, so maybe now McCoy can look at it. Terran dog suffering from hydrophobia. Can you cure it, Bones? If I can cure Vulcans, I can cure dogs. I need to find some way of getting close to it. Um, well, you can. Because we gave it the meat. So it's, he should be able to treat it. Another satisfied patient. Well, that takes care of that. Let's look around here. The cobblestone streets of the village of Gothos. This building is being used as an armory where troops are stationed and military supplies are kept. We've heard of this place. Gretel was talking about it. Apparently she delivers beer here. This building is being used this building is being used as a school for the children of Gothos. Oh yeah, we saw the intendant of the school in the tavern. This is an old apartment building. The cloudy sky dims the brightness of this charming village. James T. Kirk against the skyline of rustic 20th century Europe. Dr. McCoy wonders at the many unusual situations he has been through with his captain. Yeah, they've been through a lot, haven't they? On average, about once a week, I'd say. Mr. Spock, contemplating the inordinate number of times he has traveled through time or visited parallels of Earth cultures. That does seem to happen a lot. A lot less in the later series, fortunately. Mr. Ellis looks like he's spoiling for a fight. Because that particular uh, plot did get kind of old. And was fairly unrealistic in a lot of cases. These parallel Earths. I wonder what surprises Trelane has in store for us. That's a cheery thought. Where's the hospital? Even when they heal, they butcher people. Doctor, your criticisms of this era's medical technology are illogical. They did not have the tools to perform surgery without cutting open their patients. Perhaps one day, our medical practices will seem primitive compared to the standards of a future generation. True. That does not change the fact that medicine was quite primitive in this era, even compared to today. More incongruities, Captain. The layout of this town is as irrational as Trelane. Just think of it, Captain. Only one security officer for you on this mission. It must be unusual to have so little protection. Don't try to provoke me, mister. You may regret it. Um, okay. Actually, we haven't had any security officers with us so far. 
always say things that are unbecoming a Starfleet officer. I don't know, it seems like I'm carrying excess baggage on this mission. Don't try to provoke me, mister. Do you always say things that are unbecoming a Starfleet officer? He's not being very professional, now is he? I don't know what you mean, sir. I think you do. Any power objects near here? The tricorder detects nothing unusual. I'm registering two life forms, both human males, numerous weapons, and some explosives. Well, it is an armory, so I guess that makes sense. I'm registering numerous life forms. There is an object in that building whose power readings are off the scale. We must enter the building and examine it more closely. Okay, looks like we found another power object. An apartment building, Captain. My tricorder detects nothing unusual from it. Uh, let's take a look in the school then, see if we can determine what that power object is. Wonder how many there are. And remember, democracy is weak. It relies on the votes of the foolish masses who are incapable of choosing strong leaders. Constitutional government fosters weakness. The rejection of republicanism is what won the last war for Germany, and it will bring us victory over these stupid Americans. That's not what they told us at the academy. Um, while he is wrong, it's kind of hard to uh, argue that he's wrong, considering current uh, situation in the world. Still, what he's proposing is not exactly a better alternative. And in this particular case, we do know what the outcome will be. This seems pointless. This wooden floor looks quite clean. Yeah, looks like they keep the school floor in good working order. A cupboard. It is currently shut. Some blocks with alphabetical letters and numbers on them. The exteriors of other buildings are visible through these great windows. Is that supposed to be Kaiser Wilhelm? This appears to be a picture of Kaiser Wilhelm II. I believe so. And no comment on how it is terribly painted, so I guess if we found the one good picture in this entire town. This is a map of Western Europe. So it is. A weirdly distorted map. But a map nonetheless. A chalkboard. Brand new, according to what the guy in the tavern said. James T. Kirk. His school looked nothing like this. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Why would a 21st century school look anything like a German 20th century school? Mr. Spock observes that the human education system was once full of inaccuracies. That was to say it still isn't. Lieutenant Commander Ellis looks at this artifact of the 20th century in disbelief. Dr. McCoy, remembering his old xenobiology classes. Some kids here? A young German boy. A young German boy. A young German girl. That's what I thought. A young German girl. Captain Hauptmann looks like he'll fit right into German society in 20 years. Frau Humperdinck looks like she can't wait for the day to end. But she isn't very happy about this guy being the here. The teacher's desk. Supposedly there's a power object in here. I wonder what it could be? Tricorder finds nothing unusual with these blocks. Why does like 90% of the time is the word uh, captain missing from what he's saying? I am scanning the contents of the cupboard. 
some chalk, some pencils, and a blackboard eraser. I detect no unusual readings from any of the objects. I know, it's the picture of Kaiser Wilhelm. An ordinary oil painting, approximately 30 years old. I detect no unusual readings from it. The map does not register as unusual. How about the desk? There are no unusual readings from the desk, Captain. Maybe the chalkboard. It was pointed out to us before, after all. Captain, another abnormally high reading emanating from the chalkboard. It seems that is the thing we are looking for, then. Must find a way to get it, just like the clock. It's been a long time since I've been in school. You're not that old. Fascinating. I wonder what Dickens would have written if he had been exposed to a place like this. Very different books, I would imagine. And I thought 20th century hospitals were grim. And yet the very best people who taught in a place like this had the power to uplift people's lives to teach them knowledge, principles, and self-awareness. This was a battlefield where millions of unknown soldiers of knowledge fought to elevate humanity from barbarism. That is um, a good way of looking at it. I'm certainly not going to disagree. My parents were both teachers, after all. Can we... Uh Talk to the kids? Wow! A real American pilot! Can I shoot you as an escaped prisoner? No. Frau Humperdinck! Colonel Kirk found that they shoot him! Is that fair? Um... Okay. Please don't shoot us. Lieutenant Colonel Kirk, when I grow up, will you teach me how to fly as good as you? Well, uh... I guess we're ready to ship you to the academy, Jim. Yeah, you can become a teacher there, I guess. We know he won't, but still. Uh, all Americans as handsome as you, Colonel Kirk? Why, I... Uh, Bones, you're never at a loss for words. You answer. Oh, hi. Ingrid is very shy, Colonel. All right, I don't think the kids are going to be much help. Boys and girls, let me introduce you to an example of inferior Republican stock. Lieutenant Colonel... Jimmy Kirk, tell us, Kirk, how can you defend the ludicrous American system? I see no reason to defend anything, Captain. These children are, in spite of your efforts to indoctrinate them, quite capable of growing up to become adults who will make up their own minds. I am not interested in a debate, Hoffman. If your system is so superior to America's, how come you're losing the war? I doubt he'll see it that way. Why don't we put it up to a vote? You have a choice between a system that gives you leaders who will oppress you for life, or a system which, imperfect though it may be, allows you to influence your leaders and gives you a chance to bring them to account. That's an interesting idea. Show them a little democracy. I see no. Why don't we put it up? Let's to go a with vote. that. You all in favor of Hauptmann's system? Say aye. Aye. All in favor of my system? Say aye. It appears that they don't want what you offer them, Hoffman. I will not tolerate such insults! The Baron will make you all pay! Jim, wasn't that a violation of the Prime Directive? Dr. McCoy, this is clearly an imaginary culture with no real existence. The Prime Directive cannot be reasonably extrapolated to affect such a culture. Fair enough. Also, why did it not surprise me that this kid was the only one who was in favor of the German system? Herr Kirk, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to ask a question. What do you think about the war? Let's interrogate the teacher. It's horrible. With any luck, my students won't have to fight in such a war once they get older. Hmm. I don't know. They might just be the right age to be involved in the Second World War. Kirk, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to ask a question. What do you think about the war? What can you tell me about Trelane? Ah, uh, the Baron. Oh, such a charming man. If all the military and Gothos were like him, it would be a better place to live. 
Okay, I guess they're idolizing Trelane a little bit. Herr Kirk, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to ask a question. What do you think? What can you? These children are something, aren't they? They are a little rambunctious, aren't they? I guess so. Herr Kirk, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to ask a question. What do you think? What can you? These ch I didn't realize they let mad dogs teach children. He is a rather enthusiastic officer. Herr Kirk, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to ask a question. What do you think about the war? What can these... I didn't... You know, I've heard that chalkboards can be very dangerous to children. The chalk is very bad for the lungs. Maybe I should remove it. Um, that's a bit overstating the dangers, but I guess if it lets her uh, give us the chalkboard, it would be worth a little white lie. You want to remove my chalkboard? Nein! Absolutely not! I wouldn't consider it unless you gave me a letter from the superintendent telling me to do this. Well, we do know where the superintendent is. Perhaps we can convince him to... Um... To give us such a letter? Herr Kirk, can I help you? Yes, I'd like to ask a question. What do you think about the war? What can these... I didn't really... You know, what do you think about the war? It's horrible. I guess we can't just take the chalkboard. Please, take anything, but not that. Education represents our children's future, and education cannot succeed if it is neglected, or if teachers do not have the proper tools. Fair enough, we'll have to find a way to get that. So that's two things so far. We need to find a way to get the clock and the um, chalkboard. Let's check the armory. Alright, seems like it is occupied. Hopefully they will not be too unfriendly, on account of the Baron's orders. A polished wooden floor. It is very shiny. The commander's desk, covered with papers. This seems pointless. This painting of a storm at sea isn't impressionistic, just poorly painted. More bad art. A supply case, holding some of the commander's few possessions. A safe, it is currently unopened. A rack containing German rifles. Those might be useful to have. A picture of a Prussian soldier, circa 1871, standing at attention. Best Huntsman, 1912. This trophy belongs to the commander. A table. A copy of the Holy Bible. This glass ball will cause a snowstorm over a tiny German village if you turn it upside down. Okay. Doesn't seem like that's very useful to us. A brilliant brass telescope. This seems pointless. A painting of a Prussian cavalry officer on horseback. This window looks out upon the streets of Gothos. James Kirk, his eyes narrowing in disapproval at this place. Lieutenant Commander Ellis says nothing, but waits. Mr. Spock continues to ponder the illogic of the situation. Dr. McCoy has always had a dislike of military things. He does work for what is essentially a military. Even though a lot of their missions are of a peaceful nature and exploratory. The guard seems offended by your presence in the arsenal. The commander looks at you without a trace of friendliness. Well, I wasn't expecting him to be friendly, so... These people don't seem to like visitors. And I thought these people were supposed to be friendly to tourists. You thought wrong. I guess you'll want to use the security guard here, right, Captain? Can you get off it? We don't intentionally get guards killed. I mean, it does happen quite a lot, but um, it's not intentional. Fascinating. More illogic. Why would a German colonel be stationed in a small town like Gothos? Maybe he likes the climate. <laughs> sure. I don't like the looks of this place, Jim. 
I would have shot you on sight, Lieutenant Colonel Kirk. You owe your life to Baron Trelane's kindness. I'll try to remember to thank him when I see him. Why don't you tell your so-called Baron to stop playing games and come out of the castle and face me? Kindness? Trelane? Are we talking about the same man? I'll try to remember to thank him when I see him. Well, when you see him, you will die. And when you are dead, I will be thanking him. Okay. The Baron has given orders that you are not to be disturbed. But if you threaten Gothos, we will kill you. I would have shot you. Under. I'll try to remember to thank him when I see him. Well, when you see him. Okay, I don't think he has anything else to say. The tricorder scan indicates that the safe contains trinitrotoluene, commonly referred to as TNT. I suppose it might be an asset. Can you get it? My tricorder indicates the lock is atypical for the period. I would require the exact combination. Something tells me he's not going to just tell us the combination. A German World War I Army rifle captain. There are no unusual readings from it. There don't have to be. Indeed, Doctor. By this period, firearms were extremely efficient and deadly. The tricorder detects nothing unusual. This table is made from mahogany, Captain. A dark wood, not native to Germany. Okay. But it is a very fine material. The commander's desk, covered with papers. I would like to open that safe, but we need a combination. I think, um... It would also be nice if he could, uh... Sign some transfer papers, because that's what the, uh... The, one of the card players wanted. The guy who ran the newspaper. And having him um, owe us a favor might be useful. But we can't really do much here while these two guards are here. I suspect that we will be shot if we attempt to open the safe while these people are present. I suspect you are right. Captain, if we tried to take the weapon from their arsenal, they'd shoot us on the spot. Even though TNT would be very useful, if we want to get rid of those power objects, we're going to need something. I don't think just beating it with a stick is going to do it. But nothing we can do here for now. We have one more building left here on the right. Apartment building, apparently. What is it, Klingold? Ah, the visitors. Cute kitty. Looks like we just wandered into somebody's apartment for no reason, but sure, why not? The floor is quite dirty. You know, this floor could be cleaner. Do you like living here, sir? This place looks very comfortable. You know, this floor could be cleaner. Do you like this place looks very comfortable. Thank you for the compliment. But I'm sure you're used to nice, clean places in America. I wish that I wasn't so old. I'd like to visit the New World someday. This seems pointless. A picture of the Battle of Waterloo by a starving German artist. A little reference back to um, the Napoleonic era, where we last saw Trelane. A pot of gladiolas. You can tell that Herr Eckhart has a green thumb. A gramophone. No songs are playing. The floor is quite dirty. You know, this do you like this place looks very comfortable. Thank you. For a large plushy chair. The sort that cats prefer. In my experience, cats will sleep absolutely anywhere. Although they do like nice comfy spots that's that is true a domesticated long hair a long hair only ever had short hair cats a fireplace a fireplace several objects of sentimental value line the mantelpiece 
cherished possessions that have been gathered over the course of a lifetime, admired by friends and family that are now dead. An impressionist painting of a ship caught in a storm. A small box lamp. A small box lamp. James T. Kirk, captain of the USS Enterprise. Or is it Lieutenant Colonel Kirk of the United States Elite Enterprise Squadron? Pretty sure it's the former. Mr. Spock, first officer of the USS Enterprise. Or is it Major Spock of the United States Elite Enterprise Squadron? Dr. Leonard McCoy, Chief Surgeon of the Enterprise. Or is it Captain McCoy of the United States Elite Enterprise Squadron? I like how the descriptions in a room tend to always follow a theme. Walter Ellis, Chief Security Officer, First Officer, and Acting Captain of the USS Zimbabwe. I guess we don't know what his... Uh, alias is in this town kind of interesting that the one person we meet is uh, somebody who has a history with Kirk and a reason to dislike him wonder if that's intentional a one-armed gentleman sitting on a sofa I wonder if the uh, war has something to do with that lack of an arm could also be a disease, I guess, considering the time period. I hope I'm not this lonely when I get older. Depends on how many of your friends live to old age. I'm getting really tired of this guy. I'm attempting to find a pattern in Trelane's illogic. Please do not disturb me. Careful, Spock. Illogic might fry that delicate Vulcan brain of yours. Given the many missions we've served together, I'm quite used to being bombarded by illogic and human emotion. Nice cat. It sounds like my pet Tribble, Rodney. She has this nice pattern on her fur that looks just like this one. Tribbles are genderless creatures, Commander. It always seemed like a woman to me, Mr. Spock. Also, I don't think Tribbles are really suitable to have as pets, considering their reproductive habits. Hello, kitty. Nice kitty. That's what I would be doing. I would just be paying attention to the cat. It seems very comf comfy. Can I pet it? I think the cat is very comfortable in its current location, Captain. All right. I didn't intend to move it, but I guess I can't pet it. That's too bad. What can I do for you, Colonel? What can you tell me about the war? We are a nation of warriors, Colonel. Like we are America, we were born in war. We believe that military might gives men the right to take what they want. What about diplomacy? I wish we understood it better, Colonel. The pieces of paper that our diplomats sign have too little meaning. If we paid more attention, we could have prevented this latest mad conflict. I lost my grandson at the Marne. What can I do for you, Colonel? What can you tell me? I noticed that you have only one. I lost my arm in the last war, January 8, 1871, during the Siege of Paris during Bismarck's war with France, shortly before Germany's glorious victory. It still didn't bring my arm back. What can I do for you, Colonel? What can you tell me about the war? I noticed. What can you tell me about Trelane? Ah, yes, the glorious Baron. I'm a lowly soldier, retired and alone, except for Glingold. I don't think I can tell you anything about him. What can I do for you, Colonel? What can you tell me about the war? I noticed. What can you tell Where can I go to earn some money? I might be able to give you some money, Colonel, if I could think of something useful that you could do for me. Hmm, maybe there is something we can do? Anything to scan in here? A painting, Captain. This tricorder detects nothing unusual about this object. An early 20th century recording device, no longer in working order. Can't play any records, that's too bad. 
chair, Captain. The tricorder detects nothing unusual about this object. An ordinary house cat, Felis catus, a common human pet. The first records of domesticated cats are from ancient Egypt, where they reduced the rat population in the grain fields and were also used as hunting animals to retrieve small birds. Spock, has anyone ever told you that ignorance is bliss? His name is Glingold, Captain Spock. I don't think uh, we needed to know that level of inf information about cats. A fireplace, Captain. A pot of gladiolas, Captain. A genus of the family... Thank you, Mr. Spock. Is there anything about these flowers that might help us against Trelane? Unless Trelane is allergic to them, no. I doubt that's the case. Taron Cat, feeling very self-satisfied. I bet he does. They're gladiolas, Jim. I'm afraid a medical tricorder doesn't include very much information about botany. We've already used them to scan various various plants in this game, so... Human male in good physical condition. Well, although he's in good condition, I bet he could be better. What did you do? My rheumatism is much better. Nothing, Harry Eckhart. I'm just a simple country doctor. That, however, does not rate being given uh, any money, I guess. Is there anything else we could do for him? We have had the suggestion to do some odd jobs. I guess we have a broom and his floor is dirty. Thank you, Colonel. You Americans are very helpful. It's a pity we're at war with you. But wars always end. And today's enemy often becomes tomorrow's friend. Unfortunately, the reverse is often true. Here, it's not much, but money has its uses. Thank you. Perhaps you might be able to use a broom around here. Why, thank you, Colonel. All right, we got some money. This is money, necessary to get goods and services in the 20th century. Doesn't seem to be very much. Maybe not enough to buy that clock. But maybe enough to get into the poker game, which could get us uh, more money. Hopefully we don't have to actually play the poker game. Like in Police Quest 1. But I guess we'll see if uh, we can buy the clock as well as explore the town further in the next video.